Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about one question in our Cancone form. And you can see this M30 form. And at here you will see one question that uh, posted by our user. The M30 didn't correctly read power and energy. So about this topic, I have seen this content. You can see this is our home assistant dashboard with M30. And he has said he have used a professional meter uh, to test the bright sound date is not correctly. And they have some photos. And so about these questions, for many days, uh, Kinkone have let this M30 have, have detect in library. You can see at here, we have uh, detect this M30 uh, with this high quality power supply and detect this uh, city sensor at here and we found that in some case uh, according to this load uh, will let the date incorrectly so this is important to choose this city sensor and at last uh, we we think the m30 is no problem the main problem is according to the city sensor so you can see we have used this uh, air dryer uh, to test, you can see that have two position uh, for low and for high, uh, just a different power. And we, we have tested it. You can see uh, this one, this uh, work uh, max power, just the high load. You can see this almost is sine wave. So it's this signal is well. And you can see we have test uh, the city sensor and output signal connect with the 10 ohm resistant so we can see uh, the signal is very good but when we change to middle of the load power you can see the signal is bad and also we have tested this city sense output so that is very bad signal so that let your date uh, incorrect so in this video i will show you this step how to test it so i think if your date is not correct, uh, the voltage, uh, I think, is no problem. Just the current, the CT sensor, if incorrect, so you can do as my video and test the signal of the CT sensor. Because if the current is not have a good value, so that your power and your energy, so that will be wrong. Okay, let's look at. So you can see this is our M30 board because this board mainly by used by this chip. That is BL0910. Just you can see uh, this chip, this is a data sheet because it's made from China. So this is the Chinese uh, words. But we can see the structure. You can see the all CT sensor, this 10 channel CT sensor uh, signal go, in, go into this BL. Uh, 0910 chip and you can see this is PGA and this is DSP to calculate the date this is very complex so this will be calculate the date and convert the CT sensor signal to the value uh, by this chip itself so we just use the ESP32 and read this date from this UART just uh, by SPI bus or by the server port. So the date is calculated by this chip. And you will see in our M30, you can see just this chip. On this PCB board, you can see one, two, three. So every chip will manage 10 channel of CT sensor. So that total have 30 channel. So you can see we have used three unit of this chip, IoT energy meter chip. So this have calculated by this meet. So we just make sure your CT sensor signal is well, so that the chip will convert the date will be correct. Okay. Let's look at the uh, home assistant. Uh, you can see this is home assistant YAML file. You can see this M30. I have edit. So if you test your current is only a little difference. So you just need change this value. 
uh, just change this. So this value will celebrate uh, your date. Uh, it's very easy. You can calculate by yourself. But if your current or your power is a large difference, so that maybe have some CT sensor will be have problem. So you can see, uh, we can test. You can see this our dashboard. And uh, so in this video, I will let you see the result of the signal from the CT sensor. And you can see now I will use this this machine and this M30, King Kong M30. I have connected with this three types of CT sensor and from this uh, channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3. But this CT sensor I have uh, disconnected with M30. So I have connected with this, you can see, just a small 10 ohm resistance because uh, this CT sensor is output current signal. So I connect with this resist to convert to voltage signal so, so that I will test it. And you can see uh, this is size uh, very small. And this is CT claim. And this also is a CT sensor. But this one is NT-DC signal because uh, sometimes uh, we have tested this two, two loads. Uh, just this two two version. This one is work well, but this one will have problem. Later I will show you what's the problem. So this have different CT sensor will have different results. And also you can see uh, just this one is the best that can reduce the DC signal in the in the, this one because this output AC signal but will mix with the DC signal just inf interference from this load and this one also is very small but this is output the original signal uh, without any deal with this signal but this have some components inside and also this blue one have some components inside will reduce some interference okay let's look at okay let's look at this one I have connected with the CT sensor. Uh, from this one, we will look at the signal output from the CT sensor. And now you can see I have connected these two loads. Uh, the first I will use this one. And in this one, you can see this have different channel uh, 0, 2, 1, 3. So you can see. And let's test it. If I test it here, and you will see. Uh, this is sine wave. Okay, this is very good. So you can see I change this position. You can see change, and this wave will be changed a little. So this is a good signal. Okay, this is a good signal, no problem. And the value of the current and the voltage and the power, no problem. Let's test the next one. Now I will test this one, uh, this one. You can see also this have uh, close and middle and high. So at the first, I need to, I will test the high. Uh, this is high and uh, let's test it and you will see uh, the signal also is well no problem and you can see I change to middle uh, okay you can see this signal is bad so this is not, not a sign. You can see uh, this is a bad signal. So this time your current will be mistake, not correctly. And I, I close it. So when I change to middle and the sign, the signal is not very well. It's very bad. So your current or your power will be uh, uh, on correct date so you can see if I turn to high 
that will be sun. This will be sun. And the middle, so it's not work well. Okay? So this is the result. So the different load, uh, maybe the different, the, this load is, uh, is very low. So that lets the signal uh, output is not very well. Just uh, this CT sensor is output uh, those signal because it's original signal. So at, in this case, you not choose this one. You can choose this blue one or you can choose this one. Uh, that signal output will be uh, reduce the DC signal interference so that will be good but most case uh, use this one is no problem it's also a good CT sensor because it's really small you can see uh, the size uh, this is almost uh, half you can see uh, this is very uh, severe space in power distribution box so this one usually no problem but in some case if you one channel or some channel the load or the date is not correctly so you can replace to this one or this blue one and not use this one okay this is how to uh, choose ct sensor and how to solve some, sometimes the date is not correct thanks for watching